Well, Wes, how do you make sense of that one, and, and particularly how they got so much distance from, from, from you guys? Well, the vast majority, I thought, was the turnovers. You know, 39 points off turnovers, it's, that's tough to overcome. A lot of them, I thought, were just careless, um, just, um, you know, unforced. I thought the vast majority were unforced. Um, it wasn't necessarily offense. You know, you shoot 50 plus from the field, uh, made enough threes. Um, I just thought, didn't get our defense into the game early enough beyond that first probably four and a half minutes. Um, then they start playing with a, le a level of comfort. Your offense seemed to be very deliber deliberate, uh, purposeful early in the half court at the opening of the game. And then mm. did you sense that anything there changed that helped lead to some of those turnovers? Oh, yeah. I thought we would start playing in crowds, trying to do too much, try, try to do it on our own. Um, you know, and that's two games in a row where, you know, the turnover's been an issue. Uh, Wes, do you have an update on Gaff? Uh, right ankle sprain. Um, he'll be reevaluated in the morning. I'm not sure the severity as of yet. Um, and what did you see on Valanchunas in the second quarter, particularly? It seemed like he was doing really well against you guys. Well, yeah, a lot of the um, paint catches. You know, those weren't post ups. The, those are just, you know, he's right at the rim. He does a really good job of sealing, uh, high lows, um, ducking in. Um, he carves out a lot of space. So just kind of meeting him with force, getting him out of the paint rooting him up the floor prior to the catch. Once he catches it, it's, it's probably too late. Uh, Kuzma seemed kind of a little frustrated uh, tonight. What did you see from him? Yeah, I thought, you know, the, the, the foul trouble. That, that frustrated him quite a bit. Um, you know, just tough. You, you pick up early fouls, it's hard to get a rhythm. So, you know, I, I can imagine that's a little frustrating. and. We have to count on him and Kuz to, you know, spearhead a lot of our offense. So I think that um, that was a contributing factor. What's just your message to the team after back-to-back games like this? Um, I'll I'll keep that between me and my team. What did you like about how Corey was able to get some offense generated, especially with the five threes? Um, yeah, some of those came late in the game, but still, you know, he, he's. Catching and shooting off the move, um, I think that's an added dimension. We need more of that. Uh, be showing consistency in that area, so that's a good sign. Um, uh, I think it's you know us trying to find ways to generate more threes. It's not always going to be driving kicks. So he's the one guy, um, you know, without Brad on the floor who does that or is capable of doing it consistently. Vince well, McCallum had 31, but. Did it seem like it was 31 deal? Or? Yeah, he got going early in that first quarter. You know, I think he had 14 in that first quarter. So, um, you know, as a whole, you know, they 74 points in the paint. They were just downhill, downhill. And, you know, and it just, uh, when you allow a team to do that, now all of a sudden there's a level of confidence. Um, they're getting to the free throw line. Um, you know, they're, they're, they were playing with a level of aggression. And we knew coming in, you know, that he was going to be, you know, the guy we had to get under wraps. Um, not necessarily, you know, in, in that regard, the, those type of bigs, of course, um, you know, they're going to target, you know, try to play high, low, um, and, you know, it's just one of those things where technique wise, just having an awareness, uh, you got to get to his body early, you know, root him up. And then as he tries to seal you, you got to release, get around, at least make him step off or at least out of, you know, that paint. Readjust his stance, uh, readjust his position, um, but you know, in general, no. The, 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 those the two bigs have, have been pretty good for us. Not too many teams have got a guy like that. KP, what did you see as the um, the biggest breakdown tonight? Mm. The, it's hard to say. Pinpoint one thing. Probably first thing that comes to mind: turnovers. We're kind of turning the ball over. It reminded me a little bit of. Uh, of the OKC game. Their rhythm was high. They were in passing lanes. They were aggressive. Um, I think that's the first thing that comes to mind. But overall, I think uh, it's just 
ugly game, ugly game from us. I think you know, um, couldn't really get going, play as a team, a little bit, not our best, not our best game. But um, but we have a home stretch in front of us, and uh, and we're gonna figure it out. What shifted after the 10 0 start? What ah, um, good question, good question. I don't know. You know, obviously we made we we started off pretty good. Um, mm, good question. I don't know. You know, they they called the timeout. They made a run, and then we were kind of. I think we went into the mindset of just kind of playing uh, back and forth. You know, exchanging baskets a little bit. Like okay, the game's going. Uh, but they just stepped it up even more, and they, they they kept the pressure on us, and they made the runs and finished the half strong, and we just didn't respond the way the way um, to the way that they were playing. You guys have generally been good at protecting the ball this year. What's been different lately? Don't know. I don't know. Um, Maybe risking too much, being trying to be over aggressive in some situations. Um, we didn't have a good rhythm on offense, and that's also not just our fault. But they, they're they're great. They're good with their hands. They're aggressive. Uh, we we our spacing was bad, or like I don't know. It's just things didn't click for us tonight. The way you, the way they lately have been. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Coach said that he wants to get the team to generate more threes, mm -hmm. not just from penetration and kickouts, but in the quarter court. What other ways do you think the team can get threes rather than driving kicks? Mm, I think we have to stay playing fast. I think why we were good for stretch now was our transition. You know, Kuz, Rui, when those guys get out, and it's hard to stop them in transition, uh, but also take care of the ball. Corey, same way, he always runs hard. Um, taking care of the ball and, and, and running, and, and, and if your teammate runs, give him the ball, you know, award him, even if it's not a shot for him, but to just for everybody to feel good on offense, you know, and I think that will make your teammate make that next effort, whether it's a cut or running in transition and so on. So I think we have to keep keep staying aggressive in transition. And for our shooters like Corey and and uh, and, and the shooters that we have, you know, we have to keep taking those transition threes. Those are good looks. If they're open, we have to keep taking them, and and they'll be there for us. What did you like about the quarter court spacing tonight, and what do you think needs to be improved to take care of the ball a little bit better? Mm. I think yeah, maybe just the uh, opening up the court, like getting to the corners when there's a pick and roll, opening the court for everybody or for the point guard to attack or to create, and um, yeah, not creeping up. I think I think that's one of one of the things we're doing lately, uh, and I'm also guilty of that. Um, um, yeah, it's it's fresh. I have to rewatch the situations and and see, but uh, that's the feeling right now after the game. This was the 41st game of the year, so it's uh -huh. the midway point. How would you sum up the first half of the season? Up and down. Good good start, and then the bigger losing streak, and now we're kind of getting back to um, to playing better basketball. And now again, a couple of games that we're not looking like ourselves. Um, Obviously, we are missing Brad. You know, we uh, we are a different team with him, um, and it's been it's been tough for us also to get a good rhythm because we have had some injuries and some not not the best luck with that. You know, Delon was out for a long time, Rui was out for a while, and Brad's in and out, and hopefully he can get healthy and um, and we can make a real run and make uh, and we could show who we are. You know, because it's it's hard it's hard for us to. Uh, to be the same team when we don't have, have the same players. Uh, so every game is an adjustment. Um, and yeah, and, and we want to we wanna look better than this, obviously, you know, but tonight's a tough night and, and we have to take it on the chin and, and keep going, keep keep learning the game, keep keep seeing what we can do better. And sooner or later, we'll be all back together and, and we'll show that we can look like a, 
Like a good team.